we have arrived at Silfra in Thingvellir National Park and we're going to do something that I've been excited about doing for a long time. Good morning and welcome back to Iceland. Today I am on Reynasfjara beach near Vik and it's pouring with rain outside. So this beach is famous for its black sand and for basalt columns. It's also got some of the roughest waves here in Iceland. So we have arrived at Silfra in Thingvellir National Park. The rain has stopped and we're going to do something that I've been excited about doing for a long time. We're going to go snorkeling between two tectonic plates. So Iceland is the only place in the world where you can actually swim between tectonic plates. You've got the Eurasian plate on one side and the North American plate on the other side and you can actually swim in the fissure between them and that's what we're going to do today. We're on our way to go and get suited up in our dry suits and then we're going to get in the water which is apparently about two or three degrees. Looking cool. It's like I can't. That's as far as I can put it. It's hard. Yeah, I had the water. <laughs> Can't feel anything yet. Whew. As I said, make sure your lips are good. Okay. morning it is the next day here in Iceland and as you can see the weather has changed pretty dramatically since yesterday we've had pretty much all four seasons within the five days that we've been here today we're exploring the Golden Circle which is a popular tourist route in southern Iceland that incorporates Thingvellir National Park the Giza Hot Springs and Gullfoss waterfall we've just arrived at the Giza Hot Springs where you can see these amazing water eruptions out of the ground. Gullfoss waterfall and it is very impressive. So one thing I've noticed here in Iceland is the amount of no droning signs there are everywhere at most of the main tourist sites and you can sort of understand why if you're coming here to experience these places you don't want that ruined by buzzing overhead. So it does kind of make sense but 
that's something to bear in mind if you are planning to come to Iceland with a drone. Lake, which is an extinct volcano that's now filled up with water. But unfortunately, the Iceland weather has changed yet again, and we've got a dense layer of fog covering everything. Well, I think it's a fog boat. It's not a rainbow because it's not raining. Why is well, a fog can bow? you see the white? It's, it's a rainbow basically, but it happens in fog. just arrived back in Reykjavik so now we're going to go and explore the city properly for the first time but first we're going to find somewhere to get a coffee and a pastry my two-part Iceland series here in Reykjavik. I've had an amazing time here in Iceland and had some unforgettable experiences, not to mention experiencing every possible climate within the space of five days. I really hope you've enjoyed watching this. Give it a like if you did and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!